poor little fellas. When I think of their childhood. All those cute little maggots. <laughs> Our story is about a man with nobler ambitions. He likes to kill human pests, and he does it in front of an audience. Now that's entertainment. <laughs> so hang on to your hats, kitties. This one's a real shocker. This here is Charlie Ledbetter, sitting in his cell out the state penitentiary. It's long about midnight. Charlie's gonna die in a few minutes. One thing Mr. Ledbetter ain't thinking about is Joe Saylor, his old boss. You see, one day Charlie had a half pint of vodka for lunch. He got to thinking about how they turned him down when he won that raise. Now, he felt real bad about that, old Charlie did. He'd been working there for about seven years, and he didn't have too much to show for it. So he went down and got his cold blue 44 out of the glove box of his Chevy, took it up to Mr. Sailor's office. Two slugs went into Sailor, three went wild. Last one went right through a glass wall into a secretary that's passing by. Got it right behind the ear. Killed it big as hell. Kind of a lucky shot, really. About the only kind of luck Charlie Ledbetter ever had. I guess right about now, Charlie Ledbetter's starting to think pretty serious about that valley of death. He's thinking about that rubber diaper they give him to wear. Wondering if he's gonna crap all over himself when I juice him in a couple minutes. He will. First thing you got to understand is when it's their time, all these big tough guys go yellow. Crying and hollering and screaming, blubbering, the governor's gonna call and all that. Well, I've been here 12 years and the governor ain't called yet. People say the damnedest things about electrocutions. They say your eyeballs pop out, they say black blood comes out your mouth. They say you get all foamy like a rabbit dog. All that's bullshit. It ain't true at all. Nice thing about electricity is it's clean. Of course, I have seen a few heads smoke after it's all over. Smoking head ain't very pretty. Knock it off, Charlie. You're being some damn chicken shit. You killed somebody, now you're gonna do the hot squad. It all evens out, don't it, baby? Why are you doing this? You know, people right. tell me most executioners never look the prisoners in the eye. Afraid they're gonna get spooked or something. Not me. I always look. Okay, Mr. Ledbetter.
Now you're all ready for your regulation two jolts the state requires. I think we should proceed now. There's been a word from the governor. Yes, sir. We're all set. Let us pray. As I enter here with a sense of my own worthiness of Jesus Christ, abiding in Jesus, may the blessings of God and unmixed joy accompany you. No! It's not right! Let no evil spirit. No! They say electric current so fast the brain gets cooked just as soon as the switch is thawed. Prisoner never feels a thing. Boy, I'd hate to think that was true. I'm a country boy, but I like the city. You know, it's big, it's dirty, let's know what it really is. But at night, there's all those lights. It's a real party, isn't it? My name's Niles Talbot. I've been the executioner in this state for the last 12 years. When I got here from Oklahoma, I caught on as an electrician, and after a while, I got a job out to the prison, taking care of the generators. I like electricity. It's dependable. You can trust it. Let's say you it with gas or with some lethal injection. I don't take to that. That's how you kill a dog or a cat or something, not a man. It's got to be the old electric chair for me. Special agents called Coyote Busters. The effort, which often includes agents from the Drug Enforcement Administration, the FBI, and other yeah. federal agencies... Cheese sandwich, a cup of coffee black. Agreement. Elsewhere today, the legislature is prepared to vote whether or not to rescind the death penalty in this state, only a few hours after the execution of Charles Ledbetter. Opponents of the bill claim the death penalty has proven an effective deterrent against violent crime, and its abolition will only push the crime rate higher and produce more overcrowding in our prisons. Many also claim that execution is still murder in the eyes of God. I'm terribly sorry, Niles. Hey, listen, it wasn't your fault. Nothing you could do. I gotta admit, the damn thing caught me by surprise. Well, if you'd like, I can write you a letter of recommendation. Yeah, well, I was, I was kind of hoping I'd get my old job back. I mean, you still need somebody to look after the generators down at the powerhouse. We already have someone for that, Niles. Hey, you remember you trained him. Now, listen, I've, I've been working here a lot of years. I mean, to an electric shop, another 12 throwing a switch for the state. Don't seniority count for something? It's not that, Niles. It's just that, uh... Well, we thought it wouldn't be good to have you around the prisoners. I mean, they all know what you did. I mean, they all knew you were the man who get pretty ugly. Listen, it's nothing I can't handle. If somebody gets out of line, I'd take care of myself. I can't let it come to that, Niles. I'm sure if you think about it, you'll understand. Yeah, I understand. I guess this ain't the kind of work they give you a gold watch for, is it? One thing a man needs is a friend. Someone to talk to when you're feeling down and out. I suppose that's why they invented bars, you know? You nurse a drink, you think things over, have a little chat. All of a sudden, things ain't quite as bad as they seem. Most barroom conversations is either about baseball, football, boxing, or pussy. But with me, it's different. People usually want to talk to me about my job. I guess I ought to say my ex-job. This one's on me, Mr. Talbot. This goddamn criminal. I can't believe those chicken shit politicians really did it. After 
all those years of service, and they, they canned you like you were some fucking guinea off the boat, you know? I hate to see talent go to waste. It's a fucking shame. Thank you, Vic. You're real, buddy. Well, they're doing lots of shows on TV about the whole thing. Uh, TV people don't know nothing. They won't do something good. What they really ought to do is ought to put a lot of little TVs in all the cells of all the prisons, you know, closed circuit, so that all the guys who's locked up can watch their buddy when he gets cooked. <laughs> now, that might be a real education. Hell, I'd watch it. There was this editorial on TV, and the commentator is saying how if they televised executions, the whole country would just stop the death penalty. They'd all be too sick from it. They wouldn't let it happen again. The fucking guys on TV, what do they know? Yeah. Let me tell you something. They put executions on TV, be the fucking highest rated show of all time. Be Nielsen's through the roof. Other networks would start killing people just to compete. Pretty soon, Geraldo Rivera be pulling that switch. <laughs> All a big food chain. We eat shit and the shit eats us. They can me for my job because they're afraid of me. They're afraid of death. They don't see it's all around them. It's a disease. You eat it, you drink it, you breathe it, you fuck it. We're all pregnant with it. Growing inside all of us, like them over there. You see those two junkies? Pitiful bastards, ain't they? I'll tell you something, though. In a way, I respect them. They're honest. They spend all the money they can get just to shoot a little death into their arms. Just for a thrill. Just get a little taste of the grave. See, they know death is coming. They tease it. I like that. Because at the same time, junkies are shit. Two-bit criminals. Upon examination of sworn testimony, it would appear that the state has a strong case for the prosecution of James Flood for the crime of murder. However, having reviewed the district attorney's case, I find that the warrant for arrest has been improperly worded. I'm afraid I must rule that there are no grounds on which to prosecute James Flood. Mr. Flood, you are free to leave. Yeah! Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, Your Honor I object. This is a travesty of justice. Because of a simple clerical error, you're letting this man go free. Order in the court. This case is dismissed. Your Honor, I would like to petition immediately to the appellate court for a review. Order in this court. Order in the court. Son of a bitch, you killed my brother! Order in this court. Get your foot back, will you? Your brother was a fag. Get out of here! I got nothing special against bikers. Hell, I used to own a hog myself once upon a time. Bikers believe in freedom. They don't want nobody to lean on them, and they don't give a good goddamn what polite society thinks of. See, they figure they're throwbacks to real Americans. You know, what the country was all about before it all went to hell, with big city lawyers and computers, corporations, time clocks and what all. There's a lot to be said for that. Those ain't bad ideas. But this biker, Jimmy Flood, now he went way out of line. And he ought to pay.
a short circuit may have been responsible for the freak accident which claimed the life of alleged murderer Jimmy Flood. Flood, often characterized in the press as a motorcycle hoodlum based on his lifestyle and Can you and believe that? Record. And some people say there's no God. Sure there's a God. No doubt about it. The problem is he spends too much time making assholes like that biker. Hey, I know what you mean. He looks like a real creep to me. You know how on TV they get these experts, you know, the, uh, the ACLU types, and they're always saying that it's only the minorities that get the chair. Did you ever notice that? And they're all pretty dark when I get done with them, Vic. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Will the defendants please rise? Will the jury foreman please read the verdict? <clears throat> in the charge of first-degree murder, we find the defendants, Cynthia Baldwin and Theodore Carney, not guilty. The defendants have been found innocent of all charges and are free to resume their private lives. This court is adjourned. I'm very happy for you. It's over. This fella, Carney, decides to unload his wife in favor of this little hotski that he had on the side. But his old lady had all the loot in her name, so he figured that divorce wasn't quite good enough. I know where his head is at. We all do. Right down there between his legs. Well, I gotta say this for old Carney. If you don't do it, make sure she's worth doing it for. And this girl of his is awful pretty. Of course, everybody knows beauty's only skin deep. Looks just don't last. Uh, Here. bucks in my wallet. It's in my pants in the other room. I have some money in my purse. Please, take it. Just don't hurt us. Keep it. I ain't here for your money. I, I don't get it. What do you want? I find you both guilty of the murder of your former wife, Mr. Carney. W were you a friend of hers? Who are you? And I sentence you to death. That sentence to be carried out immediately. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. No Ted's idea. I didn't know he'd really go through with Shut it. Shut up, I, I, You gotta believe me. Shut up, Cynthia. Go, go. Wait, wait, what? wait, wait, wait. Go. <laughs> with women. If I wanted one, I just went out and got her. Easy peasy Japanese. Whoa. Give me a beer, honey. They just want you to love them, is all. That's all they ever want. They get that from their mamas, from all the trashy magazines they read. It's easy to be successful with dames. Just don't fall in love and you're okay. You give them what they want, you fall in love. They'll kill you. They can't stand you no more. They either dump you and move on, or if they let you hang around, they cut your balls off. Weird, ain't it? Now, as far as strategies for getting into their panties, that's easy, too. The old rule, you treat whores like queens and queens like whores, you got no problem. They're on the backs faster than you can say, son of Sam. Oh, look at those honeys. And up there, you got the queen bitch herself. Yes, sir, I got just what the doctor ordered for you. You might have fooled that jury, but you didn't fool me none. I wonder how you're gonna dance when I put 10,000 volts through your ass.
minutes, we're gonna have ourselves one dead little go-go dancer. Well, honey, it's your time. Goddamn hell is going on here. Mr. Talbot, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I got some good news for you, Mr. Talbot. Since you're such a staunch supporter of capital punishment, you'll be glad to know the state legislature has just reinstated the death penalty. And guess who's not pulling the switch this time? Yeah! <laughs> Governor Carlier, yeah. listen, it's just the latest thing, just a couple of minutes. That's all I'm asking for, just, just a few damn minutes. Come on now, I'm not like the other ones. You know me. You won't know me! I used to work here for Christ's sakes! I'm... Come on, I'm telling you, the governor's gonna call! He knows what I did for him! He knows that all the rats and all the fucking crumbs that I took care of! All the shit that they wanted me to get rid of! You want me! You gotta let me go, you son of a bitch! That phone is gonna ring! I'm telling you, he's gonna call! He's gonna call, he knows! When he does, if you juice me before he fucking calls, you're all gonna get tanned! You hear me? You shit I didn't do nothing that you didn't want. I didn't do nothing you didn't go along with. All I did was something you wanted to chicken shit to do yourself! You miserable chicken shit bastard! Chicken shit fuckers! You can't do this to me! Let me out of here! <laughs> Niles, I'm terribly sorry it's come to this. job that's why I did it because it's my job if a man ain't good at his job then what the hell is he good for what's anything good for Magnifica Domine Super Nos Nomen I didn't want no haircut. They said that was a mistake because my head might catch on fire from the electricity when they juice me. I told them, don't worry. The governor gonna call. Good. What a revolting huh? development. And what a switch for poor Talbot. It just goes to show you what happens when you get too caught up in your work. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm sure he never knew what hit him. <laughs> so 
remember, boys and girls. Safety first! <laughs>